Oh, turn out the lights. One of those? I've heard of these. Mimics. They disguise themselves as all manner of things, then strike when you're least wary. Some of them have a fondness for energy, I'm told. They gorge themselves on the stuff till there's naught left. So, um, what happens then? Lights out, and it's worse in the dark. Much worse. So, let them get too close to one of those conduits, and they'll suck it dry. But don't worry, it'll give the energy back if you ask nicely. Sticking it with a sword helps too. Clock's ticking. Mist seethes. It reeks. Something's close. <clears throat> nice moves there, Captain. You mean traitor? So they say. 
But I didn't see him kill anyone. My brother did. Uh, Rex. He said he had a brother two years younger. I see. He meant you. Your brother. What became of- He's dead. I'm sorry. It was you who killed him! I give you my word. That was not the way of it. Rex, sir. My name's Rex. That's all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I. Living it's in time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We found them! But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Sir, we have no, little sir. time. You must I go to the tank. They're slowing us down. Captain and for these. my parents. Captain, why? Our king, what have you done? His majesty was a traitor. A twin brother. Fancy that. Hmm. But still, the pieces fit, I'll give you that much. And he did look like you. I don't believe you. Of course not. It was my fault that Rex was there. I am sorry. My brother, he trusted you. He trusted you and he lost everything. How can I believe you? Not me, then. Believe in your brother. He was a fine soldier. He fought to the last to protect his homeland. No. Surely he fought to protect his brother. You don't know anything! Believe what you want to. Whatever it takes to make you happy. What's done is done.
To think Dalmascan air could taste so sweet. Where are we? The Esther's sand, by the look of it. Let's back to Rabanasta before we shrivel up. By your leave, Captain. Yes, the hour of my return is already over late. The people may hate me, but that does not free me of my charge. I thank you. I'd avoid crowds if I were you. In this town, you're still a traitor, you know. The Resistance will surely find me soon. Fates will we meet again. I would pay my respects to your brother. You're a fugitive now, too. Stay low for a while. What about the stone? Do as you like. That stone's ill-favored. We feel regret. We sought that stone and found ourselves only worry. You offering it? It's mine. Then why'd you ask? Our regards to your girl. We stay in Rabanaster a while. What do you think? Can I trust Bosch? I gotta get rid of this thing. But maybe I should show it to Pinello first, so she knows I got something. She'd be at Miguel's place this time of day. The Imperials will need more than a dungeon to stop me. You broke out of a dungeon? Whoa! Hey, try and keep it down, would you? Pinello isn't around, is she? Out on a delivery, maybe? Nope, haven't seen her all day. Not like her to up and skip out on work like that. Miguelo's not here either. He went running off somewhere a little while ago. So much for my big welcome. I guess everybody's busy. I got my hands full watching the shop. And old Dallin had something for me to do, but I can't get away. Old Dallin, huh? Tell you what, I'll go see him for you. Really? Well, nothing better to do.
Well, well, look who we have here. Heard you were sent off to Nalpina. And I got out of there as fast as I could. But it was all worth it down. Here, look at this. My, 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 quite a treasure you've got there. Well, you know, I couldn't have done it without your help. So, there is more to this gutter churl than first meets the eye. Van, I've an errand, a simple favor to beg of you. I was going to ask that kites to go, but I should think that you ought to do. No. No, I think you're just the one. There's a fellow by the name of Azalas, and I need you to bring this sword to him. That's... that's a sword of the old order. Speak my name when you arrive. That should be enough to get you in to see him. I've made a note on your map showing you where he can be found. Mind you, you are to deliver the sword to him personally. I will. Hey, Dal, do you think I could get you to do something for me? I need you to find out where Pinello is. I wanted to show her what I got from the palace, but I haven't been able to find her anywhere. Can you let me know if you hear anything? You can just leave that to me. Thanks, Dallin. And so it is done, but will it be enough to remind him of what the Order once meant? What do you make of Andor's proclamation? Are you suggesting they fooled even the Marquis? What if a judge killed the king, not the captain? That would explain everything, wouldn't it? In that case, the captain would be brother to a judge. How are we to trust such a man? Huh? Now there's the Bosch that I remember. Then will you fight again at my side? His word alone convinces me of nothing. I'd take his word over that of a mouthpiece Marquis. Then you name Rex liar with him. My brother was no liar! <sighs> Just the opposite. Rex was the witness they needed. They had to make it appear as if I killed the king. Rex bears no blame. The fates have willed it. So this is Rex's brother. <sighs> Your words may convince a child such as this, but they weigh far too lightly on the scales for my taste. Our paths will remain separate. Do you not think Amalia worth saving? I hold men's lives in my hands. I must see foes in every shadow. The night we moved against Vane, he knew. I will not chance such disadvantage again. I must treat you as I would Ondor, as I would treat any of better of the Empire. Then what will you do? Hold me here in chains? <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Listen to me, Bosh. Your cage may have no bars, but it is a cage. The eyes of the Resistance watch unblinking. Let them watch. I know something of cages. in the Resistance. Then you know her. Sorta. We met just before we got sent to Nalbina. I've known nicer people. Our paths keep crossing yours and mine. It's more than coincidence. It's annoying. I'm sorry. Allow me one last annoyance, a favor to ask. I want you to take me to both here. Even caged birds need wings. This makes us even. Even? For Nalbina. We couldn't have done it without you.
lot of kids lost their parents in the war. Mine, mine had already died before that. The plague took them both. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. It's been five years now. After that, I lived with my friend Pinello and her family. Then, then the war came. I am sorry. You don't have to keep apologizing. Really, it's all right. I know it wasn't your fault. I see that now. You didn't kill my brother. It was the Empire. My brother trusted you. And he was right. As I said, a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? What I am understanding is it took Pinello because of you. What? What about Pinello? Oh, Vaughn. They've taken Pinello. And there was a note. A note for this Balthier. Come to the Museum of Mines, it said. It's Begamnon. He was in Nalbana. If anything were to happen to that sweet child, why, I have her parents' memory to consider. You're going to go to her aid, and that's that. That's what you Sky Pirates do, isn't it? I don't respond well to orders. You do know that the Imperial fleet is massing at Bujerba. Fine, then I'll go. You at least have an airship, don't you? Just get me there, and I'll find Pinello myself. I'll join you. Huh? I have some business there as well. An audience with the Marquis, by chance? Both here. Just take us, and this is yours. The gods are toying with us. Uh, make yourselves ready. We leave soon. Right. This is the Strahl. She airship enough for you. <laughs> the Strahl. You really are a Sky Pirate. Well, the Headhunters seem to think so. What's a good word? Is she ready? So is she armed? How fast is she? Could she take the Afri? 
I suppose I could tell you, but... Wouldn't you rather see for yourself? Hmm? Yeah. Fran, our course. The shortest way, Silver Door Stonis. How flies, Boucherba? Oh, she's free as can be, for now. The Empire took notice when they announced the Princess's unfortunate suicide in your untimely execution. If it becomes known that I'm alive, the Marcus will lose their favor. Well, we try to steer clear of such things. Right, it's time to fly. And no wagging tongues or you'll like to bite them off. I'm coming. Well, see that she does. We need her alive. Balthier's bait must be fresh. I keep trying to tell you. I barely even know who Balthier is. My brother, a message come from Ravanaster. The Stral she set sail. She makes straight for the sky city of the Sherpa. Barely know, was it? Yet out of trace, he goes bounding off for you. Tell me, how could that be? I... That's what I'd like to know. I just met him that one time and that's Does it! Does that tongue never stop? What if we plucked it from your head? As for you, we need Balthier alive. His corpse fetches but half the bounty. A tender beaten. My specialty. There's no fun for it if we can't tease out a scream or two. Where are you? Good, he's not here. Keep searching. This way. You're a dead man. Don't forget it. And no names. Of course. The Lusu mines are just up ahead. Though, I do hear there's not much left there these days. You're on your way to the mines? Then please allow me to accompany you. I have an errand to attend to there. What manner of errand? What errand? I might ask the same of you. Right. Come on, then. What? Excellent. Do me a favor and stay where I can keep my eye on you. 
Should be less trouble that way. For us both. So what's your name? Oh, I, uh, I'm, I'm Lamont. Don't worry. I don't know what's in that mind, Lamont, but you're in good hands. Right, Bosch? Lusu Mines, one of the richest veins in Ivalice. Under Imperial Guard, no doubt. Actually, no. With but few exceptions, the Imperial Army is not permitted within Gujerba. Well, shall we proceed? Forgive me for asking, but you are diverting the purest of the Magicite. I can assure you it reaches Lord Vane most discreetly. Ha! <laughs> you wear your saddle well. Be that as it may, I have no intention of being bridled, Your Honor. Then you prefer the whip? Stubbornness will see not only you broken, Excellency, but Bougerba as well. Salim Ondor IV, the Marquis of Bougerba. The Marquis served as mediator at the negotiations of Damascus' surrender. It would appear that he is somewhat less neutral now. They say he's been helping the resistance. They say many things. You're certainly well informed. Who did you say you were again? What difference does it make? We have to find Penelo. And Penelo is your... She's a friend. She was kidnapped and taken here.
This is what I came here to see. What's that? It's nethesite. Manufactured nethesite. Nethesite? Unlike regular magicite, nethesite absorbs magical energy. This is the fruit of research into the manufacture of nethesite. All at the hands of the Draclaw Laboratory. So this is where they're getting the magicite. Errand all attended to, then? Thank you. I'll repay you shortly. No, you'll repay us now. We have too much on our hands to go on holding yours. So, where did you hear this fairy tale about Nethesite? And where did you get that sample you carry? What do you know about the Draclaw Laboratories? Tell me, who are you? Balthier? You kept us waiting, Balthier! You slipped away in Nalbana! We missed you! First to judge and know this boy. The whole affair has a smell of money about it. I may have to wet my beak a little. Keep your snout in the trough where it belongs. This thinking ill befits you, Bagamnon. Balthier! <laughs> Too long have I gone unpaid. I'll carve my bounty out of that boy. Where's Pinello? We're taking her back. The girl? Why keep the bait when you've landed the fish? We cut her loose on the way here and then off she ran crying like a babe. <sighs> ah! Hey! After them! Hey, wait up! We'll not be able to take them all. Fight who we must, leave the rest.
I see you've been out walking without the company of your cortege, Lord Lhasa. We caught her wandering out of the mines. You must take care with such undesirables about. I was kidnapped! Silence! And... If it is a crime to wander on one's own, then I too am guilty. Marquis, I trust that your estate can accommodate another guest. Why not? Judge Geese, I shall heed your counsel. I will not travel unaccompanied any longer. That was unexpected. Thank you, Penelo. Uh, of course. What's Penelo doing? And what's the deal with that Lamont? That's no Lamont. Lhasa Ferina Solidor, fourth son to Emperor Grammis and brother to Vane. What? That kid? Do not worry. I believe he will treat her well. Nobody knows men like Franders. Our purposes lead the same way, to Ondor. We must find means to approach him. The Marquis is channeling money to organizations opposing the Empire. We'll start there. Marquis Ondor announced my execution two years ago. If news of my survival were to spread, the Marquis may find his position compromised. The men he's been funding bear little love for the Empire. They won't be thrilled to discover that rumors of your death were, in fact, greatly exaggerated. If we were to raise a clamor to that effect, we might just get their attention. Nothing to it. I'll just go around town spreading the word. How about this? I'm Captain Bosch von Rotzenberg of Dalmaska! Well, what do you think? That certainly qualifies as a clamor. All right, Vaughn, get to it. For the girl's sake, eh? Oh, and the more people around to witness your little performance, the better. If we're going to reach the Marquis, it's up to you. We'll be waiting here if you need us. <laughs> 